Well, unfortunately, we've lost sight of Shadow, so she's disappeared into that thicket. So we've just come back to her sister and her younger brother, basically. So little Hosanna, who's directly in front of me and hasn't really moved too much. He hasn't gone up into the tree as I thought he might have. I thought by this time of the afternoon he might have gone in, but he hasn't. He's still watching over towards the side. Maybe with all the commotion of the squirrels and the various other things, he's been watching where Shadow was. And, and I wonder if Tandy hasn't just walked a little bit closer, and that's why he's still kind of watching her. You can see he's very intent in looking in that sort of westerly direction. So I'm sure he's kind of checking out where she is and wondering what's going on. But he definitely hasn't been into that tree to feed. Neither of the carcasses have moved at all. So hopefully sometime soon he will be doing so. Petro, you want to know how we identify the different leopards. Well, Petro, I think everybody's got a slightly different way of doing it. The, the most scientific and, the, and the, the most reliable way is to use the spot patterns. So when I talk about the spot patterns, you see on Hosanna there above his whiskers, he's got three spots. So three big black dots above the whisker line, and those dots you count as three, and then you'll count on the right-hand side however many he's got. And that will give you a spot pattern, and it's unique to every single leopard. So that spots above the, the, the whisker line will be different on any leopard on the right and left side, and the combination of those spots. Other people will use other markings around the eye area, um, nicks in the ears, notches in the ears, um, any distinctive marking on the coat, like Tingana with a smiley face on his left shoulder, um, um, short tail, Salahesh used to have a short tail, the tip of her tail was taken off by hyenas, so she had a slightly shorter tail. So those are all different things, but they also all have a different look about them. So they all have a different shape of the face, a different sort of body structure. And earlier we said it was Tandi from the top, but as we kind of got round and, and she stood up and she started to limp, that was a definite sign that she was shadow. And I was actually talking to Seb about it. I said when we were looking at her at one point, I, was, I wasn't 100% sure it was Tandi. And I kind of just got into the moment of it and you were so excited about just seeing a leopard in golden light drinking that I didn't really think about it too much. But it, some of them are quite similar and so that you would then use spot patterns to check. But they all have kind of different looks. So Hosanna has a, has a sort of darker colored eyes to me and has a kind of boxy face as opposed to Tumba who's a little bit stouter in, this, in the muzzle and greener colored eyes. So the more we see them, the easier it becomes for us to identify them because... It's like when you see your dog. If you buy a dog and you have your dog every single day, and even if another dog that is very similar comes along, you still can tell the difference between the two. And that's how it comes with the leopards. If you see them regularly, you do get to kind of recognize them, but the spot patterns is the best way to do it. And so if you're still unsure about the spot pattern sort of way of things, I'm going to try and show you a photo that I can explain it a little bit better because I know it can be sometimes quite tough when it comes to actually seeing these things on the animal and there's lots of spots all over their face. So I'll just try and get you a, a spot pattern of a leopard and then I'll be able to explain to you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's use this one here. Seb, that's going to be the easiest one. So if you have a look here, this is Mvula that we've got. And so the spots that I'm talking about are these three spots where my finger is. So the one, two, and then the third one on top that creates that triangle. Now, if we had to look at Hosanna, he has a very different spot pattern on the right side of his face. It won't look anything like that. So I'll try and see if I've got a photo of one of the other leopards on the right side. Well, uh, here's Shongile. So you see Shongile, she also does have a triangle, but it's slightly different shape, also her size and everything else will make it very difficult to be able to sort of mistake her and Mvula. But that's basically the patterns that we use in order to be able to identify these leopards and to be able to show who they are or to recognize them and, and be able to know who is the individuals within this area. Hosanna is definitely, I think you can see Tandi from wherever he's looking. I can't see her at all. It's getting to that time of the day where leopards are going to become very difficult to see. It's that strange light and their body color just blends in with the grass as we saw with Shadow as she disappeared earlier. And he might be able to see her from the line that he is, but I definitely can't see any sign at the moment. And she's now gone, well, he's now gone to sleep. Now, this is very exciting, so let's quickly jump across to Scott Dyson, who's got some lions that I believe have encroached on the Cheetah Brothers.